Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Curiosity Box. and this video is my what I read in January video. So the first thing that I completed reading in January is Time Trips. Stories by Cecilia Ahern, Jay Carner, Trudy Canavan, Jenny T. Colgan, Stella Duffy, Nick Harkway, Joanne Harris and A.L. Kennedy. And there's lots of short stories with different um, pairings of doctors and companions. And the first cool thing about this book is that if you take the cover off, it is the cover itself is a story. And the story is about the doctor has fallen out of the TARDIS and Clara is flying with the TARDIS and trying to um, catch him in the TARDIS. So what you do, you start off on each section and then you have to uh, sort of twist it around. So as you're reading the story about him, the TARDIS and the Doctor tumbling about, you're actually tumbling and flipping around the story. So that is really cool feature. So the book itself is my fate uh, so the stories are the death pit by a l kennedy and that has the fourth doctor in and it's got um the artwork is also wonderful yeah ben morris he's awesome so the first story is the death and that's fourth doctor story then page 66 is 66 is into the nowhere by jenny t colgan and that's clara and 11 then the next story is keeping up with the joneses and that's 10 and it's actually um, well I've forgotten what her name is but she was in one of the specials and it's so that's that one and that one's also the next one In is four and in. I'm currently, I think it's Joe. Um, the next story is A Handful of Stardust by Jake Arnett. And that That is the um, Sixth Doctor and Perry and the Master. Then The Bug Warrior by Celia Ahern is a David Tennant episode. Episode David features the uh, David Tennant uh, features the Tenth Doctor. And then the next story, The Loneliness of the Long Distance Time Traveller by Joanne Harris features the fourth, um, uh, the third doctor. I think I said fourth when I meant the third earlier, but um, John Petrie, the third doctor. Then the next story the anti-hero by Stella Duffy features um Trouter, second doctor Zoe and um Jamie so they're all really good stories but I would say that my favourite story 
is um, neck halfway story keeping up with the Joneses because I love how he's written 10 and how he has written um, the 10th Doctor is reminds me of how I did my fan fiction story of the 10th Doctor where I just is the 10th Doctor is just really good to grip onto as a fan writer because he's got the mannerisms and he can have all his mannerisms and they're really easy to write. My words are failing me. I've just done a ton of videos. But so I really recommend this book and it's really fun to read. Um, the next book that I read in January is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. Um, I shall read the back. On an autumn day in 1686, 18-year-old Nella Ortman arrives to Grand House in Amsterdam to begin her new life as the wife, as the wife of wealthy merchant Johannes Brandt. Though curiously distant, he presents her with an extraordinary wedding gift, a cabinet-sized replica of their home. It is to be furnished by an elusive miniaturist whose tiny creations ring evilly true. As Nella uncovers the secrets of her new household, she realises the escalating dangers they face. The miniaturist seems to hold their fate in her hands, but does she plan to save or destroy them? So it's a really good book, this. I really enjoyed it, because mainly, I mainly go from the shop when I go from the shop was a while ago because I like um, sort of stuff like miniature stuff and dolls houses and stuff but it's a really good story and I could clearly um, picture the house and the surroundings they were in and I really enjoyed it so it's really good I'm not very good at describing books and the next thing I was reading in January but it's not a book per se it's the Rookie Yearbook edited by Tavi Gevinson. RookieMag.com is a website created by and for young women to make the best of the beauty, pain and awkwardness of being a teenager when it becomes tough to appreciate such things. We have good plain fun and visual pleasure. When you're sick of having to be happy all the time, we have lots of rants too. Every school year we compile the best from the site into a print yearbook. Behold our freshman year. In Rookie Yearbook 1 we explore breakups, love, feminism, street harassment, being happy, being sad and other life related topics. Featuring contributions from and interviews with rookie heroes like Daniel Close, Sui Deschanel, Lena Dunham, Sky Ferreira, Jack Black, Anna Faris, Fred Armisen, Patton Oswalt, Paul Feig, Miranda July, Aubrey Plaza, Dan Savage, David Sedaris, Sarah Silverman, John Waters and Jess Whedon, plus extra goodies like playlists, DIYs and stickers. So I found out about Rookie, the Rookie Yearbook from a tweet by Emma Watson and she um, um, said that because there's four Ricky year books out now and she was tweeting about the fourth one coming out and I investigated it on Amazon to see if Amazon had it and they did and they had all four so I got all four and it's really cool because it's it's like um, a magazine for teenagers but it's like indie and it's got loads of art in it and I just love the style of it and the art and the interviews and it's, it's a very um, deep room I find a very deep romanticism of it because when I was a teenager myself and you get stickers too you get um, some stickers in every issue so if you want to leave them in for posterity or you can use them but it's really fun to read because when I was a teenager one of my big special interests was America so I was into um, getting American mags 
in magazines and when I managed to get one it's like this magical thing and then I eventually my mum and dad said they were going to take me to America so we went to stay in the, in the Holiday Inn on Hollywood Boulevard and uh, there was a news agent in the hotel and it was, it was like that was one of the magic bits of getting the um, American magazines from the news agent so I could take them home and so and but and the, and then there was um another reason why I like this is because one of the magazines I used to have one of the British magazines was um brought out this sort of yearbook thing and it was a diary and it had as a thick book and it, on on each page there was a column where you could fill in the diary and then it was articles and and th I've been trying to find it on on the on eBay or Amazon to see if I can but it was really cool and I loved it and I think it was just 17 like a, a diary yearbook it might have been smash hits possible I'm pretty sure it was just 17 though and it was awesome and um, this reminds me a lot of that kind of thing that I was into when I was a teenager and the articles are really intelligently written and very poignant so I've got all the book books and that's how far I'm into book yearbook book one so I'm very happy that Emma Watson tweeted about it and got me on to reading it because I love stuff like this and it's just it's got a very romantic so it feels like I'm reading the past uh, it's written like nowadays but it just feels like I'm reading the a romanticized version of the 50s in it and it's just lovely to read so those are the um, things that I read in January um, I'm doing quite well with my reading in February so I might have like an extra one or two books to show you for my February one so yeah that is what I've been reading in January so I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching yeah.